everyone. How are you doing today? Simeon back if, with you. I want to share with you some very exciting news. At least I think it's exciting. You may have heard about it, but I want to tell you why it matters so much for those of us in our particular subject matter here. There was some data that came in over the past several years at this facility in Antarctica that was looking for cosmic background radiation and so-called gravitational waves. The gravitational waves are these echoes from the Big Bang that happened, you know, 13 and a half billion years ago. And there was some debate whether the Big Bang was a uniform explosion or whether it was had a lot of variation in it and directionality, which would imply that multiverses were being created in the Big Bang. Well, the BICEP2 facility in Antarctica which was a consortium of a lot of different universities, including Stanford University and others, found that the light that's coming through the universe to us is polarized in exactly the right way that fits to a T the predictions of this idea that you have a background radiation which is non-uniform, that it has a fractal shape. And that implies multiverses. So what this result shows us is that rather than having one universe, we live in a world, in a universe that contains many, many multiverses. I think that's extremely exciting. All, from what I understand, all of the models that have this view of eternal inflation, that the universe is still inflating, that the Big Bang is still happening way, way out there, you're still getting this Big Bang, implies that you have many, many bubble universes. So rather than the data supporting the idea of one universe, it's supporting the idea of many, many multiverses of which everything we can see in our particular universe is just one of many billions and billions of universes. All of these other universes will be built around slightly different mathematical constants and ratios. You've heard me here talk sometimes about the idea of the phi ratio, 1.618. It's a particular ratio that we find in living things in our universe. This result implies that there's other universes built around other ratios. We have pi and phi in our universe. That means there's other universes, some with life that would look very different from our own, some universes without life. And you and I happen to find ourselves, if you're listening to this right now, in the same universe. Now this is very exciting for another reason for those of us in this subject matter of remote viewing, resonant viewing, the whole notion of viewing, perceiving non-local information. Because if we do live in a huge multiverse of many, many bubble universes and different types of universes built around different sorts of constants and frequencies and so forth, it would seem pretty natural that the living entities in one of those universes would just naturally have this ability to perceive these other multiverses. So rather than resonant viewing seeming like something that's metaphysical or paranormal or extrasensory or something like this, this would just seem like a normal sensory ability. After all, how else would you perceive even in the smallest way other multiverses? And it would suggest that this RV ability, which I've said to you before that all of us have, is this ability to look at our universe from a slightly different point of view not a form of astral travel, but just a form of viewing to see things from a different point of view. And in the multiverse, you'd expect the living beings, the entities there, to have this perceptual ability. It changes RV from something that seems like it's extra to something that, to me, just seems like it's normal in a multiverse. In a multiverse, you'd expect the entities there to perceive realities in different ways. So I think this is a very exciting result. I think it has huge ramifications. And one of the biggest uh, implications of this multiverse, by the way, is that it's a fractal shape. Now how cool and neat is that? A fractal multiverse. Anyway, I hope you find this interesting. I'm looking forward to your comments. We'll be following up. We'll talk to you soon. Take care for now. Bye.